Yeah, you know what's so amazing? I was just feeling lethargic, and I was feeling like not myself. I thought, me too. I want to just get engaged, and I want to feel like I'm actually doing something that's going to be like maybe contagious. Yeah. So. We want to do a plank? Let's public plank. Let's public plank. Oh, here we go. Oh okay, okay, so hey, you guys, everyone needs to join us right now. You can do your okay. elbows, oh. or you can do. So what's a good up. plank all about? Like, you know, it... like this, and you can like lift one up here. Oh, and should your butt be sticking in the air? I think your butt needs to be more kind of parallel <laughs> with the ground. Now, if you if you are blessed with. <laughs> oh wait, do these count? <laughs> oh whoa. yeah! Whoa! 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 And we can turn around and we can actually, we can show our butts. We can show our butts. And here's the beautiful thing. I read a study that said that <laughs> when you do something physical in the middle of a space where Wait, no one's really, I'm still going. <laughs> when no one's really <laughs> expecting it, it literally wakes up people from their self-imposed slumber party. So you can go ahead and you go, you know, that person looks like they're really just struggling in the valley of mediocrity. So you just go ahead and you drop into plank. Mediocrity and you have some fun with sucks. It. Oh, you know what? When your plane is delayed, oh my gosh, when people are yelling at the flight attendants and people are not being loving and nice, go into a plank and say nothing. The airport plank. Just the airport plank. <laughs> or the waiting in line at the grocery store when someone has 15 items or less in the lane, but they have 17 items, go into plank. Do what you gotta do. Or the trout plank, everybody. It's time. Whoa! Right here. Ow! <laughs> All right, you're looking good. Feeling good. Feeling good, man. Hey! This is oh, gonna be awesome. So fun. All right, everyone. I'm here today. This is one of my greatest friends. With one with the coolest backdrop most incredible. behind Ooh. Nicole. What are those little guys? Those are all the special scoops. Scoop. <laughs> it's an important word. You need to learn it. Um, we actually are here today with Dr. James Rouse. Incredible person, visionary, um, entrepreneur, and lover of Delusional love. optimist. Yes! <laughs> Completely. Lover, lover of everything. <laughs> So we're here today to talk to you about what? Well, you know what's funny? Because I was thinking about you this morning. I was thinking about you even more so. And I thought, you know, I gotta imagine I'm not alone when this time of the year, we're now going into February. And this is the time that we probably are reestablishing or even looking back at some of the intentions that we had set a month ago. Yes. We're going, wow, what happened? <laughs> Where did I go? It's only been four weeks. Yeah, what, what happened to that zeal? I was channeling <laughs> that zeal on New Year's morning. And, you know, here's the fun part. And I want to talk about something that I really believe that you and I really connect on. It's optimism. Yes. Well, the show is called Fueled by Positivity. Which I thought was a perfect segue into the <laughs> science behind optimism. Yeah. Because just to get started, here's the thing that we want to love about optimism. When you think about inflammation, you think about what ages our body, what ages our mind, what ages your spirit, where you become kind of chronically adult and you really don't like yourself as much, optimism is anti-inflammatory. Studies show that literally being more optimistic about yourself, about how you see yourself, how you care for yourself, literally helps to change gene expression and optimize metabolism, mindfulness, happiness, disease prevention. Oh my goodness, the list goes on and on. Wow, wow, wow. All you have to do is be optimistic. All you have to do, and here's the coolest thing I know, is people going, okay, so how do I, how do I actually get optimistic if I'm... Yeah, if but I'm, if you're a normally kind of pessimistic yeah. person who's always like, wah, wah, yeah, yeah. The, you know. You've got this, the cloud of dust following you like Eeyore. Everywhere you go, people are going, oh, look who just came in. I need to get the pledge. I need, I need to dust off my table. So-and-so was just here. Here's the coolest thing, Nicole. I was reading about this because I was really excited about spending time with you. Here's the number one practice for building optimism. Mm -hmm. Sonia Lee Mursky, who's a Stanford researcher, brilliant, beautiful, amazing human being, who spent her entire clinical work working on what it is that makes people come alive. And she really believes that optimism is not a skill necessarily that we're born with and we get a chance to build. It's actually something that we can actually take as a tool and use it every single day. Yeah. And here's the one practice that does it more effectively than anything else. Okay. Future casting in the morning, where you literally, you, you pull out your journal and two or three sentences of where you want to be today in terms of who you want to be, 
how you want to show up, and what you want your affect to be in terms of the world that you work in. How do people want to see you? How do they want to, how do they want to connect with you? When you do that, and you future cast, it literally changed the gene expression of optimism, and you build it, and you build it in such a way, it becomes almost, if you will, woven in the fabric of your neurochemistry, where it's your default. You are always gonna be more optimistic if you start your day with that simple practice. Wow, and you know what's really cool is we often think about what we want to do, but what you just hit on was how you want people to feel when they come into contact with you. Well, I think there might be another thing that also helps bring us into this world of optimism and positivity, which could be what we put into our bodies. No doubt. Should we um, take a break here and maybe consider getting some good nutrients in our bodies? I think we absolutely should because here's a really cool thing. We're going to talk about something called the microbiome today because one of the things I'm really fascinated by... That sounds fancy. It, it's really fancy. Is it a place? It's a place, and it's basically a place in your oh. belly. Oh. And it's kind of like <laughs> she's the gatekeeper of all the awesomeness. Mama. <laughs> yes, it's totally the mama space. And when the mama space is being nurtured, your genes do cartwheels of love, your your skin ages backwards, you, you become this person who has an unfair advantage over mediocrity because the microbiome is magic because you're really like 97 years old aren't i'm 113 <laughs> me. so with that you can see that my microbiome is just absolutely we, awesome we got to get us some of what you're having you know what so let's go over and share a little bit about how right. that will look so come on behind the bar because awesome one of the things i'm so what i love about nicole is pretty much everything but today <laughs> nicole said you know I'm feeling a little sluggish. I'm feeling a little, I don't know, just off balance, mm. off kilter. I need a little boost. So with boost in mind, and here's what I think a lot of us go to is we say, well, you know what? I'm going to go for some just really awesome high shelf life refined carbohydrates, right? Is that what we want? We're like, we're feeling a little off or like, like a donut? Yeah, like a donut. Oh. But here's what we're going to do today. We're actually going to do a powerful intervention strategy with two of our new products. Is this an intervention? Yes, a loving I love it. intervention. Yes, we're just we we've been watching you like the Truman Show and going, <laughs> you know, you seem like you're a little off. We need to we need to do an intervention immediately. So we're gonna start off with this guy right here. This has got Nicole's name. In fact, I think I'm gonna put your my picture. My on it. Oh, oh, I'm gonna put you right next to my oh, picture that's on this. So sweet. Okay, good. This um, is called Daily perfect. Detox, and I'm sure many people have probably heard about it in your wonderful community. Turmeric. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Anti-inflammatory? Anti-inflammatory. Is it a yellowish root? It is. In fact, you can go ahead and open this up. We can kind of show everybody how awesome it is. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, my gosh. Let me smell, smell it. Oh, it just smells really, like, enriching. And here's what's interesting. The lowest incidence of Alzheimer's in the entire world, Indian people. Really? Because of their curry consumption. Wow. Yeah. So this is getting your nice hit of curry. Anti-inflammatory, as you said, but here's what's interesting too. <laughs> Studies show that not only does it help your memory, it actually helps to boost serotonin, so turmeric makes you happier. Why aren't we all just drinking this stuff all the time? You know long? what? That's the question. <laughs> Wake up in the morning and go, why are we not using turmeric all? How did we not figure this out sooner? It's just so cool. So all right, here's so what we we're going to do. Moon. So wait, you can combine scoop products? You can do like a scoop of this and a scoop of here's, that? Here's what I do every morning. I do this guy. That's a good guy. With this guy. Yep. And then I add this guy. Oh, what's that guy? Let's That's the that beets. Here. You know, I'm an all-in kind of girl. Let's add up some And beets. then I add this guy. Oh gosh, that's a lot of guys, but I love Sorry. it. Okay, this one's not open. We'll add that one. We could add this gal, this gal, and this gal, along with this gal. Here's one that's open. Okay, perfect. Oh, the beet one. We Let's do a close-up of that. So if I drink this, is anything going to happen when I pee or poo? You are going to have a nice um, mauve urine, which is awesome. And you're going to have a little red pillow called a poop, and it's going to go alongside of it. Both these things are a great sign, so don't freak out. <laughs> There's one cool side effect of beets oh beyond just motility yeah. and motility. a dismount from is the porcelain. What, is that what motility means? <laughs> so it's actually nitric oxide. So if you're, you're out running and go, gosh, I'd like to get more energy for my run. I want to get more oxygen in my red blood cells. Beets can have a naturally occurring little compound that actually helps your body be more effective at actually grabbing the oxygen so you get more endurance. Wow. 
All so. right, so we need just to get hooked up, man. How do we hook ourselves up with Scoop? So I think what we're going to ask you all to do, because part of this whole month, our goal is really simple. We want to love on you. We want to inspire you. We want to nourish you. And here's what we'd like you to do with us. Give Scoop an opportunity to talk to you about what is it you are looking for. What are your questions? If you have some goals you have for 2018, some intentions, let us answer those questions. Maybe put together a formula for you that you would love. But at the very least, just give us the opportunity to encourage you because really what this whole campaign is about, we believe that you are alive to the degree that you serve. But if you serve yourself first, which is the greatest challenge for wonderfully zealous women, we tend to be the ones, and I'm just putting myself in that community for just this moment. <laughs> we are the ones who put ourselves at the end of our to-do list. When we have any time left over, we may get to us. Our goal for February, number one on to-do list. Self-love, self-care, priority, and let that moral elevation elevate everyone around you, but your self-care is the most important part of making the whole thing work. Bring it on.